Acromanzia, the missing part in your microbiome? Have you heard of the amazing Acromanzia mucinophila? It's a mouthful, but these unique bacteria can improve your insulin sensitivity, prevent inflammation, and reduce your risk of diseases like IBD and atherosclerosis. In this video, we'll explore the gatekeeper bacteria in your gut and reveal how you can increase its levels for a healthier and happier gut. You don't want to miss out. What is Acromansia mucinophila? Acromansia mucinophila, also known as Acromansia, a mucinophila, the mucin-eating bacterium, and the gatekeeper bacterium is a type of bacteria that lives in your gut and is very active in maintaining a healthy digestive system. A mucinophila is a gram-negative commensal bacteria that is commonly found in the gut of healthy individuals. It was named after a Dutch microbiologist, Ackermans, who first discovered it in 2004. Unlike some other bacteria, Acromansia mucinophila is non-pathogenic, meaning it does not cause disease or harm in immunocompetent individuals. One of the unique characteristics of Acromansia mucinophila is its ability to live in mucoid areas, particularly the mucus layer that lines our gut. This bacteria feeds on the mucus layer, which may sound concerning at first, but it actually helps to maintain a healthy gut environment. Listen to this. By consuming the outer layer of mucus, Acromansia stimulates the production of more mucus, which is important in acting as a protective barrier between the gut epithelium and luminal contents, prevents harmful bacteria, toxins, and pathogens from penetrating the gut epithelium and entering the bloodstream. The mucus is composed of mucins, which are glycoproteins that provide a habitat for beneficial bacteria, like Acromansia mucinophila. Mucins act as a food source for good gut bacteria, promoting their growth and colonization in the gut. Mucins also stimulate the production of more mucus, which helps to maintain gut homeostasis. Low levels of mucus in the gut can lead to increased inflammation, susceptibility to infection, and impaired nutrient absorption. Despite its potential health benefits, the levels of Acromansia mucinophila in our gut can be influenced by a number of factors, such as diet, stress, and medication use. But the good news is that there are ways to increase the levels of this rock star bacteria in our gut. Foods such as grape extract, dragon fruit, and whole grain barley have been shown to increase the levels of Acromansia mucinophila in the gut. Additionally, prebiotics and certain probiotics can also help to support the growth of this bacteria. Benefits of a mucinophila. So why should you be concerned about this little-known bacteria in your gut? One of the main roles of Acromansia in promoting a healthy gut is its ability to maintain gut barrier integrity. The gut barrier is a protective layer that prevents harmful substances, such as toxins and pathogens, from entering the bloodstream. Acromansia has been shown to stimulate the production of mucin, a glycoprotein that forms a protective layer on the intestinal lining. This layer helps to prevent the adhesion of harmful bacteria to the gut lining and promotes the growth of beneficial bacteria. Acromansia mucinophila also plays a crucial role in maintaining the normal permeability of the gut. When the gut becomes permeable, or leaky, pro-inflammatory toxins can enter the bloodstream, leading to inflammation and other health problems. Acromansia mucinophila acts as a gatekeeper bacterial, ensuring that the gut remains healthy and free from toxins. A study conducted by Everard et al. 2013 showed that the administration of a mucinophila to mice with high fat diet induced obesity improved the gut barrier function and reduced the inflammatory response. The study demonstrated that a mucinophila improved the expression of tight junction proteins such as Z01, occludin, and clodin 1, which are essential for maintaining the integrity of the gut lining. Tight junctions act as seals between adjacent epithelial cells, preventing harmful substances from passing through the epithelial layer. Therefore, this bacteria is very essential in dealing with leaky gut syndrome. Additionally, Acromansia mucinophila interacts with other gut bacteria, making it an essential part of the gut microbiome. It acts as a helper bacteria, assisting other beneficial bacteria in the gut in their functions. This interaction is crucial for the overall health of the gut, as a diverse and balanced microbiome is necessary for good gut health. Apart from its role in maintaining gut health, preventing and treating disease, 
One of the most significant benefits of increasing the levels of Acromanzia mucinifila can improve insulin sensitivity and prevent diabetes and metabolic disorders. Studies have shown that people with type 2 diabetes have significantly lower levels of Acromanzia mucinifila in their gut than healthy individuals. By restoring the levels of this bacterium, researchers have been able to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce the symptoms of diabetes. Acromanzia mucinifila has also been found to have a significant impact on preventing cancer. Research has shown that the presence of Acromanzia mucinifila in the gut can significantly reduce the risk of developing certain types of cancer, including colon, liver, and breast cancer. This is because Acromanzia mucinifila has the ability to produce butyrate, a short-chain fatty acid that has anti-cancer properties and can help prevent the growth and spread of cancer cells. Another way in which Acromantia mucinifila can benefit our health is by reducing inflammation in the gut and preventing inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. By promoting the growth of other beneficial gut bacteria and reducing the growth of harmful bacteria, Acromantia mucinifila helps to maintain a healthy balance of microorganisms in the gut, which in turn reduces inflammation and prevents the development of these diseases. New studies have indicated that Acromantia mucinifila might play a protective role in neurological disorders, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. This is accomplished by diminishing gut inflammation and blocking the discharge of pro-inflammatory toxins into the bloodstream, which ultimately reduces the likelihood of contracting these ailments. With that said, how can we increase the concentration or numbers of Acromantia? Well, there are many ways to do that. But before we get into the natural remedies, please hit that thumbs up button if you are liking this content so far. How to increase Acromantia mucinifila in the gut? Okay, some of these effective ways include supplementing Acromantia mucinifila in the gut through probiotics. There are also other probiotics that can help support its growth in the gut. For example, Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium strains have been shown to increase the levels of Acromantia mucinifila in the gut. Additionally, some studies have suggested that consuming live bacteria through fermented foods, such as yogurt and kefir, can also help promote the growth of Acromantia mucinifila in the gut. Another way to increase Acromantia mucinifila in the gut is through prebiotics. Prebiotics are non-digestible fibers that serve as food for beneficial gut bacteria, including Acromantia mucinifila. Oligosaccharides, a type of prebiotic, have been shown to increase the levels of Acromantia mucinifila in the gut. Sources of oligosaccharides include chicory root, Jerusalem artichoke, and bananas. Dietary polyphenols, found in many fruits and vegetables, can also help promote the growth of Acromantia mucinifila in the gut. Grape extract and dragon fruit, for example, are rich in polyphenols that have been shown to increase the levels of Acromantia mucinifila in the gut. Additionally, whole grain barley, which is high in beta-glucan, can also help support the growth of Acromantia mucinifila in the gut. Conclusion So there you have it, folks. Increasing Acromantia mucinifila in your gut can have numerous health benefits. What's your favorite way to boost gut health? Let us know in the comments below.